Hi guys, Andrea Mills here. Today I want to share with you guys about how I do um, my once a month shopping. So I used to go shopping every week at Walmart and then also a trip to the grocery store. And I'm not sure how long ago it's been, but many, many months ago I switched to trying to just go to Walmart once a month. And um, I had to make some adjustments because we need a lot of stuff and I couldn't do it all in one shopping trip. So I am going to show you the method I came up with and the reasons that I did this was basically to save time because um, where we live, it's kind of, a, we live in a small town and so I have to drive a distance to get to Walmart and um, so it would take, you know, almost all afternoon once a week and I didn't want to do that anymore. The other benefit that has come from it that I wasn't anticipating was that it cut our spending in half, which I can't even understand it because I still get everything that I want to get if I need it I put it on my list and we get it but somehow I'm spending literally half as much money as I did before so it's pretty amazing to me so um, I'm gonna go ahead then and show you the methods I came up with to accomplish this and it's something that took me a couple of months to kind of get my system going I'm still making little adjustments to it as I go but um, yes I will show you what I'm doing and maybe that can help you guys come up with your own system. So the first thing that I did was come up with a list of everything that I could think of that we would um, buy in a month's time. And this is not necessarily food that I would get at the grocery store. This is the kind of the food that I would get at Walmart or um, you know toiletries and all that kind of stuff. And when I made my list I I made it, I organized it by what room in the house stuff is stored in. So you'll see here that in the kitchen is where I keep the dish soap and all the stuff for the dishwasher and our trash bags. And <clears throat> we have a little closet that we keep extra paper towels in and baggies and all that stuff. Um, so the way I arranged it though was by where it's stored so that I could walk through the house and mark things as I went and it takes me about um, 15 minutes to go through the whole house maybe not even that long and just mark on my list a little X if I don't need it and if I do need it I put you know a number like how many of whatever it is that I need so here's stuff that I keep in my office the crayons for the kids school supplies office supplies and things like that um, <clears throat> this is all the stuff that is in the pantry that is food that I buy at Walmart and I sometimes I forget things so I have to add to my list later um, I also have things on here that we order from an organic food place so I can go ahead and do my order at the same time so I can get this all done at once and this is another place that we do monthly orders from and then these are the things that are in the refrigerator that I would get from Walmart okay so I've got my list and I'm looking here in the closet and I'm just estimating I want about five to six weeks worth of something on hand and so I'm looking to see if I think I have that and if I do I put an X and if I don't then I write down about how many I think that I need so I need some more dishwasher detergent and some more rinse aid and some salt for the dishwasher this month but I do not need any more trash bags or dish soap to get me through another five to six weeks. Chief priests and the teachers of the law were looking for some reclining at the table in the home of the man known as Simon the leper. I am also gonna check the calendar to see what stuff is coming up before my next shopping trip so that I can make sure to buy birthday presents or anything like that. Like if we have a party or something, I can make sure to get stuff that I need for that. Okay, so now what I'm doing is, I am looking at my list at the things that I need and I am putting everything I can into my shopping cart on Walmart's website. And as I go, I'm marking them off. So I'm gonna try to get as much as possible off of the website so that I don't have to 
fill up my cart at the store and if there's free shipping on $50 or more so I um, don't have to pay to have it shipped and what else was I thinking to mention oh unless um, unless it's something that I'm gonna run out of right away like within the next week because it takes about a week for stuff to get here so um, if it's something that I'm really just about to run out of then I'll go ahead and um, not buy that online so that I won't run out before they before the stuff gets here Okay, so now I have got everything in my shopping cart on Walmart's website that I can. So now I'm going to go ahead and use my shopping list app and everything else that is not in my Walmart cart there is going to go on my list here. My shopping list uh, is ready on my phone. I'm ready to check out on the Walmart website. And of course, I know there's other places that you can order things online, but this is just how I do it. So um, my on online cart has like $240 worth of stuff in it, and I'll probably spend about that much tomorrow when I actually go to the store, and I will have a giant heaping cart full when I am done shopping there. I've also done an Amazon order. Um, this time it's only $130. There's a few things that I can't get at Walmart and so I'm going to get those on Amazon. I also have a wedding to go to this month and a baby shower and both of those people registered on Amazon which made it very nice and easy so I got some um, gifts for those on my Amazon order. Um, I have not made my order for the organic food place yet, so I'll still have to do that when I'm done here. We used to spend, I would say, around $250 to $300 a week at Walmart, and then um, probably another $300 or so at Amazon. So you can see that would come out to what, like three, six, nine, twelve. $1,500 a month and um, this month I don't have any birthdays in my own family so we're spending a little less and it's not a month where I'm buying clothes which I actually budget for that separately so that I guess doesn't really affect anything but um, I'm going to be spending around $650 right now and so you can see that that makes a huge difference and I again I don't really get it because I don't feel like we're getting any less than we ever did, but somehow we're saving a lot of money doing this once a month. And I do not um, consider it a failure if I have to go back before, if something comes up or whatever, it's not a big deal to go again. It's just really to save the time and um, and incidentally to save the money, but it's not like like I've broken my rules or something if I if I have to go an extra time. Um, as far as the grocery store goes, I used to go, you know, I sort of, I used to go once a week. Then I kind of got in the habit of just going in whenever. And so I have been going back to just the once a week shopping unless, of course, I forget something and I do go back in again. Um, the grocery store is very near the house, so it's not a big time issue for that. It's just that um, the more the money savings of not going in so frequently. So um, I will get the bulk of our actual food comes just from the regular our little grocery store here in town and I just buy what's on sale. So I look, I don't know if I've got a sale flyer here, but I always just look at the sale flyer and if it's if they have something a good deal of something that we eat a lot of then I buy like cases of it and stock up in our little pantry and then of course whatever kind of fresh fruits and vegetables and meat and things like that we, that we need for the week it took time to get from going once a week to once a month I kind of went to like every other week at first and then to once a month and even now you can see here 
on my list, I found several things that should have been on my list that have never been on there. And I'm like, oh, you know what? That should be on my list. So I went ahead and I'm going to add that in and save it so that next month when I print my list, I will have everything on there. And, oh, I was going to tell you too that in on my list here, I actually put them not just by where they're stored but also the order that I will walk so as I walk around the house I naturally come to the next section and then within the room like this is our pantry down here I put the list in the order of how they come on the shelf which was easy to do because I just stood there and I listed them that way but that way when I'm um, marking my list it's a lot faster to stand there and just mark things and it goes a lot faster so this takes a little bit of time to set up but in a little bit of time each month to make my list and um, do the online order, but it's significantly less time than I was spending before when I would have to drive a half hour each way and then, you know, an hour or more at the store. So that was a couple of hours a week I was putting in on shopping before, and now it's, you know, maybe an hour a month to get everything ready. And then I will do my shopping tomorrow and um, then as things trickle in they come in boxes which can be a hassle if you don't have a way to dispose of them but we just cut them up as they come in the kids like will run and put stuff away and I cut up the boxes with a box knife and then we burn them in our little fire pit so it gives us a reason to sit around and have a fire at night um, I'm not sure if there's anything else that would be helpful for you guys to know about how we do the once a month shopping so if you have questions um, go ahead and leave them in the comments and if I need to I can make another video kind of supplementing this one um, otherwise I guess we will just see you guys again next time